Hey Pisces, welcome to Queen Airbender Tarot. Today we are going to do your beginning of April general love reading. Now keep in mind these are general readings, which means they cannot possibly apply to every single person that's watching. But if you would like a personal reading, all of the information will be in the description box below. In case you're new to the channel, welcome, come on in. And in case you're returning, thank you for joining me again today. And I hope that everyone is doing well. <laughs> so I think you guys are the second ones. What you call this doo wop who has that, you know, that certain era is like 1950s or something like that, that had a song like this out of all the 12 signs. The song that I heard was Still of the Night by, um, I had to write it down because I had no clue who it was, by Fred Paris and the Satins. I will leave the link to the song in the description box below so you can listen to it, follow in the reading if you so choose to. What I heard very strongly immediately after I asked, okay, what is this song about? What message am I meaning to give to you all? Someone could literally sweep in and sweep you clean off of your feet, but beware. This person could possibly be a bit of a playboy or a playgirl. Um, you guys had hella fire sign in your pre-shuffle. Leo, Sag, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus. You definitely have the Emperor. The Emperor is Aries specifically, and we are currently in Aries season. So if you have not met this person yet, you can be meeting this person towards the end of Aries season. Also, if you were, because I did see strong, um, Major Arcana, the strength card, that's also Leo, that's fire also. So some of you guys could be connected to a Leo sun sign specifically because when I get the Major Arcana, that's always like sun sign energy to me because, you know, it's the most pronounced and most profound energy. So I feel like some of you guys, this person is coming in quickly and sweeping you out off of your feet, like literally sweeping you, still in your heart, still of the night. Now, even though it's not spelled still, like still, I feel like... Mm, okay, it makes sense now. So I had the two of swords also in your pre-shuffle, and in the two of swords, this person has the swords across her. Okay, and keep in mind my readings are gender neutral, so apply it how it fits. I'm saying her because it was a female on the card, but she has the swords across her like this. So even you guys know for me when swords are up, that's yes. And if the swords are down, that's no, the swords are up. And swords of communication are also the mental. So she's open. He or she is open to communication, but they're guarded. And it makes sense, like steel, like you guys are like a steel cage protecting yourself because I feel like you've dealt with things where you've been hurt before, but you are still open to this possible um, new love affair or, mm, and I said love affair and that wasn't meant to come out like that. So for some of you guys, this could be a love affair because I did see the Knight of Wands, this playboy, play girl, someone who jumps into something quickly, jumps out just as quickly. Now, for all of you, it doesn't have to be that this person is just going to be and for a good time, it could be that this just moves entirely too fast. Because I'm seeing fast moving. Like, I'm seeing... It's so weird how I'm seeing it. I'm literally seeing a horse with flames flying behind it. Like, this person's coming in quickly. So quickly that you... is like, things are spinning. You don't even know when you start and where they end. It's like you guys are merging very quickly is what I'm getting. So, let's see what we get for you guys today. This should be interesting because I'm seeing a lot of images off the top. Okay? And of course, we're changing the card at the top and the bottom. There's no reversals. So if I get any reversals, once I start shuffling, I will read it as such. Bottom of the deck. Yes, somebody's coming in quickly. Um, this person is going to sweep you off your feet or you're coming in sweeping them off their feet, okay? Because you had a king of cups. I always tell you guys, any king or queen, this is someone who is secure, set, stable. They're sure of what they want. Kings and queens are rulers and leaders. You don't tell a king or queen what to do. This and kings and queens are always companions, okay? So they always have a consort, they always have a partner. So this person knows that they want forward movement. Now, with this being watery energy and very much connected to Pisces, this could be you, male or female. This could be you, sure of what you want. You already see yourself in a long term commitment with this individual, is what I'm getting also. Um, what we're gonna do is shuffle the deck upright three times until we hit the major arcana for your sign, which would be the high priestess. We'll get the card that comes before and the card that comes after, and then we'll get clarifiers for both, okay? So let's part the deck and see. I'm just parting randomly. <laughs> Did I tell you guys I've seen a strength card? And I just parted it randomly. I'm just dropping it to show you that I'm parting it randomly. Look at them. They're looking in the same direction. So I feel like some of you guys may have need the strength, you know, to let down your guards so that you can welcome in this new love is what I'm getting for sure. Wow. And also, I'm going to say this again. Some of you guys could be connecting, connecting with a Leo, sun sign specifically. Also, for some of y'all who are already in a relationship, it could be that you um, met this person during Leo season. Wow. Okay. Let's get your cards. Again, we are looking for the major arcana, the high priestess. Some of you guys manifested this person into your life. Major arcana, the magician. This is also connected to the energy of Virgo and Gemini. Sun sign specifically, yeah. A lot of you guys are in your head. 
about choosing the right direction to go in. Nine of Swords. Um, because again, Swords is communication, also the mental. So some of you guys could be dealing with some anxiety, stress. Ooh, and I just heard right now someone <clears throat> could be awaiting some test results of any nature. I'm just looking at how the swords just literally in my vision transformed into um, needles. Some of you guys could have been, and I'm not hearing something like horribly, but somebody may have been feeling pretty, pretty bad. I'm hearing something about autoimmune. Someone, oh, okay. Some of you guys could also need to get tested because I feel like someone, if you've been undergoing tests, and this is a love reading, so for me to get this information is needed for someone. If you have been feeling like pretty crappy lately, because she looks like she's going through it, okay? She, he, you would know how to supply us. I feel like you're going to get information by getting some type of testing done. Now, I know this is a love reading, so I don't want you to think it's an STD type of thing. It could be, but that's not what I'm getting initially. Because whenever you have an owl, right? Especially a white owl. Owls talk about, um, in the spirit room, it talks about knowledge and wisdom. That's the number one thing for owls. So I feel like you're going to get some knowledge and wisdom and answers once you get some type of testing done. And I'm hearing like autoimmune. I'm really hearing it. Um, also, what I was hearing is somebody needs to get tested. You may have got tested for every single thing under the sun, except for one thing. And I'm hearing that somebody needs to get tested for allergies. Because literally, like now I'm starting to feel kind of itchy a little bit. Um, you know how you feel like something is tingling your nose, like your nose is itching and such. Somebody needs to get, I'm hearing allergies. And it's interesting because you see how this window is open like this. Um, it's blowing the curtains and the wind. Somebody may have like... Um, pollen grass or some some type of allergy or something outdoor if you just move recently it can also be <clears throat> that you move to an area where something in the environment that is causing fatigue itchiness it, causing you to feel kind of gross and weird and again this is a, a love reading but i am getting it i have to put that out there okay just i, I just gotta say that and right up under it, you have the Ten of Cups, and this is your energy. So I'm going to say there's, there's going to be something that's moving quick, and it can produce a, a pregnancy very quickly. So if you don't want that, be mindful, okay? But you do have a family structure here, something that's going to make you very happy. Or someone could be overthinking that, wondering whether or not they will ever get there happily ever after, because that's exactly what the Ten of Cups is about. Let's get the Major Arcana for your sign. And it's interesting because as I see this, look, you have the um, hair font right here. Right next to the Four of Swords and then the Six of Cups. Um, the Hierophant is the spouse, is the companion of the High Priestess, the card that we are looking for. The Four of Swords, somebody who is distant, pull back, retreat. They're not speaking. They're not communicating. And we are getting ready to, well, as I'm reading now, it's in the end of March. But Four, you know, you have April here. And I always tell you guys, sword down, you have sword down. No, swords, communication and mental. So you may not be communicating with this person, but there's somebody coming in. That you are going to be absolutely smitten with. And it's going to feel like you've known this person all of your life. And it's, I'm, even now as I'm saying this, I'm hearing a song, the hook of the song, Still a Night All Over Again. Look how she's in La La Land. He's in La La Land. I feel like um, with those swords down, it's just that you haven't spoken to this person. Because this could be someone new coming in. Okay. So again, we are going to get the High Priestess for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rise, and Venus individuals. You guys have somebody coming in. And I feel like this is new. And a lot of you guys, yeah, a lot of you guys feel like you're going to be single. Okay. And so this is a pretty good amount. And you guys know how I do. Anytime I go through the deck and it takes a while to get to the cards, it's like, you know, this could have been something that you were waiting for for a while. And this is a pretty nice amount of cards. It's like, and this is definitely the message that I'm getting because you're stopping at the top of the deck. Four of Wands, Marriage, Three of Wands, coming right before your card. So you're looking towards, you're looking forward to marriage and long-term commitment. Um, and then, yes, and then you have the Queen of Pentacles, absolutely. And then you have the Devil card. So this is a karmic connection for some of you guys, or some of you all may have gotten out of a karmic connection. Also, this person could be a Capricorn, Sun sign specifically, okay? So the Three of Wands is looking towards the future, looking towards, looking for, you know, waiting for your ships to sail, because you see you have ships right there. And towards the end, some of you guys could be March, Pisces, okay? But I feel like, I'm going to say again, you had the Ten of Cups, and there was a baby in between that couple. Then you have this woman right here, and she has this pinnacle right by her stomach like a baby bum. And then you have that rabbit right there. Rabbits talk about fertility. So some of you guys, there could be a pregnancy that comes, like, very quickly. And it's going to be unexpected. Um, You see how she's a queen. There's no reason for her to be upset, sad, gloomy. She has anything at her disposal. But if you look in the background, she has storm clouds over her head. Okay, so she's really in her head about something. Remember, we had the eight of um, the 
I'm sorry, the Nine of Swords. And that's someone who's in their head feeling overwhelmed. I feel like if someone gets pregnant too soon, they could be feeling very overwhelmed about it. Somebody could have also found out in March, towards the end of March, that they were pregnant. Um, also, keep in mind, in the very beginning, we had the King of Cups, and now you have the Queen of Pentacles. And even though this is different elements, you still have a King and a Queen. So that's what I'm saying. Somebody's thinking about marriage and long-term commitment. Also, this is Taurus energy, and right after Aries is Taurus. So for some of you guys, you know, there's some forward movement and long-term commitment going towards, yeah, wow, okay. Look at that. Oh, okay. So I'm going to say this because I keep getting you strong Capricorn energy right here, right? But if you look at how this is the same card, but how different this is, right? They're bound by the neck. And then he has a, con a contract right here. And I always see this as like a karmic contract, but you see it has flames on it. So for some of you guys, this person came in very quickly. You could get knocked up or somebody got knocked up. Something happened very quickly. And then this person, you know, dipped right after that. That's for some. I'm not claiming it for you because I don't claim anything like that. But I do feel like, you know, something happened very quickly and it could leave the two of you all bound to each other. You know, it's like, it's something faded. It was meant for the two of you all to connect. But we can't deny it's like she has an energy where she's not happy about the way something turned out. And it's like she's being left with only this. You know what I mean? And it's a pinnacle again. Then you have pinnacles with Capricorn. Somebody could be, you guys could definitely be connected to an earth sign. Strong earth and fire. Okay. So Leo Sash Aries, Taurus Virgo, Capricorn. Spark the deck to shuffle. Ace of Swords. Yeah, you're gonna some, you're gonna get the truth about a situation for sure. Again, we have a full moon on the 28th of March. So you could be getting that information then because that's you know. I'm just getting, I feel like somebody's going to get some type of information because the Ace of Swords, truth and clarity, knowledge and wisdom, also victory. Some of you all could feel like you found your person, but this could very well be a karmic connection because, again, it's victory and it's going right in the direction of the devil. So this person could be a little manipulative also. Mm. Okay, let's get a clarifier. Look at this. Yeah, this person could be manipulative. And this could be, I said earlier on, like this could be moving fast and ending just as quick, you know. This is the energy of Aries and also Scorpio. So for some of you, and this is, you have two major icons back to back. So this is definite energy. Major icon is always stuff that's already going on around us. Even if we don't see it right now, it's manifesting. And have the tower card. You know, you got Aries here. You got Aries here. I feel like for some of you guys, you could have already been in this relationship and someone could be pregnant. And it's like right around the time that you can ready to deliver or something could be ending because this karmic contract is coming to an end. This is literally a karmic contract and it has flames on it. So a karmic contract could be coming to an end. But you may have felt like this person was your life partner because it's it's almost also, you see how they're chained and bound together. It's like no one could see you without them and vice versa. Like you two were joint to the hip or, you know, clearly by the neck here. And you're starting to find out that... um. This ship has sailed. Again, there's two ships right here. In the background, there's one and there's another. So something could be coming to an end also. I feel like something happened very quickly. And then, you know, and now somebody feels stuck. Eight of Swords. Feeling stuck and bound in the situation. Feeling as though they can have no way out. Also, someone could be eight months pregnant. Tower card reverse may have possibly been trying to work the situation out for the sake of the family. Because, again, I, I keep seeing that. Mm-hmm. Keep seeing that um eight, the I'm sorry, the ten of cups, that family unit. Somebody's finding a way to be unstuck also because here you are again. This is you. High priestess. So you have um <clears throat> someone whose first, middle, or last initial could be B, T, J, C, U, or W. Also, you have swords right here, Gemini Libra Aquarius. You have Roman numeral two that looks like the Gemini symbol. So someone could definitely be dealing with Gemini. But um again, this could be those initials could be yours or your love interest, but Someone feels stuck, and I feel like it's you because it's coming up with your major arcana of rights. You could feel like you are stuck in a situation because of some choices that you made. You may be kind of getting down on yourself because, yeah, as I said, getting down on yourself, I was guided to look at this card. Look at how she's looking down. Her head is not up like a regal queen's would be. You know, again, male or female, you would know how to supply us. You're feeling down on yourself because you felt like you didn't make the right decision. You know, yeah, that's what I'm getting. Yeah, because now it's in reverse. So some of you all feel like you didn't make the right decision. You jumped into love very quickly. Just seeing a lover's card. Yeah. So let's get a clarify for the three of wands for Pisces. Simon Rice and being a strong energy of, uh, um, woo. Wow. Um, Mars Pisces. 
Okay, so someone's birthday at the end of, um, you know, the end of March. Seven of Swords. I don't like it. Bottom of the deck, Tower card reverse again. Okay. So you have the Three of Wands. Clarifying the Seven of Swords in reverse. Okay. So upright, the Seven of Swords is liar, cheater, manipulator, sneak, conniver. Someone who is sneaky. And we kept getting this, right? Um, what I'm getting with this is upright, this person feels like they're getting away with their bullshit. And reverse is the opposite. And that's why I say I feel like you found something out. A lot of you all are very intuitive. I say this all the time. If you have Pisces anywhere strongly in your chart, you are very intuitive. Don't don't sleep on yourself, okay? Um, so some of you all felt this coming. And even, yeah, because I'm hearing that. Some of you all felt it coming. And even when you did, you still decided to move forward with this relationship and this union. And it's like, you know, you can no longer lie to yourself. Because like I said, this is a master manipulator. A liar. He's looking towards the future, but some of you all felt like, you know, there is really no future in the situation. Because even though he's walking, his body's going this way, he's looking back. Which means he's known for a while that this, this possibly has no future. Because this is all about looking towards the future. And some of you all are a little sad about it because you, you're wishing that it would have went a different way. Not wanting it to end. That's going to clarify for the Queen of Pentacles for Pisces, Summer Rising Venus. Yeah, some of you all are getting down on yourself. Okay. Ooh, that flipped out. Yeah, but you're coming. Un you're becoming unstuck, and I like that. Definitely be getting down on yourself because even if you look at this, she's looking down. She's looking down. Strong female energy in this situation. If you are a male Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, this is how your love interest could be feeling like about you if you are heterosexual. But you know what I'm getting with this is like literally she has her back, right, facing this Eight of Swords, which is beautiful because. Upright, she feels stuck. We had this earlier, so this is a definite energy for you guys, right? Um, feeling stuck, feeling bound. And reverse is becoming unstuck, and she's turning her back towards us. So she's like, whatever. Okay, get another mess with this. Whatever I need to take from this, I'm taking it from this. It's not making me very happy, but I'm learning a lesson because pentacles hold what value? Lessons hold value. Lessons have value to it because it teaches you things so that you can move forward. So even though this was a very difficult lesson, and for a while, you felt pretty stuck in the situation. You're taking a lesson and you're moving forward. Of course, it isn't the easiest, but I do feel like, you know, you've learned from it and you're moving forward and you're emerging a queen or a king. And some of you all could definitely have earth sign in your chart also. Yeah, because I'm just noticing this also. Look at that. You got seven to the eight. So it's like you, you, you felt this. You sensed that something was going on. You may have tried to ignore it. And now you're realizing that you should have trusted your intuition. A lot of you guys are very, very intuitive. I say this all the time. If you have Pisces in your chart, you are intuitive. You are empath. That's that's the truth. If you have anxiety, because remember we had the nine of swords early on. I feel like some of you all could deal with issues with anxiety and you can all, all, like often feel stuck and bound because you're an empath. I have to say that also, even though this is a love reading, I have to put that out there because some of you guys are definitely empaths and you feel things on a very deep level. And I feel like, again, I want to say some of you guys felt this coming, but you kept moving forward because you wanted, you know, I feel like this situation with this person was very passionate. Bottom of the deck, three of wands. I mean, I'm sorry, I'm saying three of wands. I'm looking at that, but three of cups, you got two threes. So something could have been discovered in, um, towards the end of March. And I, I'm also picking up that for some of you guys towards the end of March, you could have discovered how very energy sensitive you are. And, you know, this is Taurus. So, our, you know, Taurus goes into April. So towards the end of March, because these are your two cards, okay? You have March, you have April here. Um, You're realizing that it was time for you to turn your back on this. And you didn't want to let it go, but you did learn a lesson from it. That's what I'm getting. A very valuable, pinnacle value, very valuable lesson. And you're allowing yourself to become unstuck. Also, you're allowing yourself to be open. Also, not lying to yourself about your gifts. Because some of you are very intuitive. I keep hearing that over and over again. And just as I said that the time was 1919, anytime I see mirroring numbers, when I say a specific message, it's definitely a message for someone out there. So what I'm getting in overall is for you guys to trust your intuition about the situation. If this is not happening yet and you are dealing with someone and it, something comes in very quickly, especially if they are a fire sign or earth sign, use discernment because it's like, you know, especially earth sign, use discernment because this person is going to come here because right up under that, look what you had. You know, this person is promising you the world. 
prince and princess shining armor they're promising you the world and this person could come in and sweep you off your feet that's exactly what the um knight of cups does sweeps you off your feet <laughs> wow and then look at the cards so then right there after that look and she's blindfolded she's not paying attention and there's the moon right there that's this discernment your intuition and somebody can end up pregnant quickly i keep saying this look at this she has that baby bump there. She has the pinnacle right by her stomach like a baby bump. This is also Taurus, Libra, and Aries energy. Yeah, so use the sermon. It's the message that I'm getting because you, you definitely have it. A lot of you all are definitely intuitive, okay? So Pisces, someone rise in Venus and the visuals. As always, I'm going to ask that you continue to like, share, and subscribe. And until next time, take care. Bye.